not much an interesting project on the go this week, so I'm back to production work. Uh, this is a, a engine mounting kit for a certain model of snowmobile that I've been making since uh, 2006. I've made probably 400 of these kits or more, and uh, it just takes a few hours to put aluminum, some custom urethane pucks, and uh, we get to mail them off pretty much all over the world. This kit is going to Johan in Sweden, so I hope he's going to be happy with them. So these are the diagrams we're going to use. Uh, this one is a set of aluminum uh, plates. Uh, we'll, we'll do the machining hole layout, then we'll split them in two and face the ends off. Uh, we have to make four aluminum pucks to hold, our, or washers actually, to hold our, to hold our urethane pucks. Uh, a couple different thicknesses, and we have to make some steel spacers. Well, actually, I'm lying. I got those already made. <laughs> oh, looks like we've got a visitor to our shop. Hi. Hello, young man. Hi, you too. <laughs> so let's get started on our mounting place. First thing we need to do is rough off uh, 1.3 inches off the back wall. And uh, actually, let's actually, uh, let's actually get it screwed down. onto the existing cross member, which is taking a, an end mill, we'll run it across, get our corner, then we'll do the back wall height.
to the back wall. So we use our center finder to, uh, to get that set up. We have 100, we need to go to 586. We've scribed the line at the edge of our clamp, which will be the edge of our part when we're done. So we need to win from there, 332.
that's a 516 hole as well. So now we need two one inch holes done at two different locations. We'll base our measurements off the center line of our last set of holes we drilled. So we'll take up the backlash in our X again. Get that unmounted and get it sawn in two pieces. Okay, so to cut this in two pieces, I found that we can use our doll calipers to give us uh, a fairly accurate mark in between between our center holes for our bandsaw. Uh, in this case, it happens to be 1.365. Lay a caliper in the top of the top hole and let it sort of self-center. Then just give your part a little wiggle. Do the same thing with the other hole. what you wind up with. I don't know if you want to see it on camera or not. Right there you get two scratch lines and both are arcs and uh, stick your saw blade down between the two of them and you'll come pretty close. Okay so the final step in our plates is to trim the sides off for cosmetic and well we gotta bring them down to fit. Be birdie 
packages or should be ready for packaging. So this is the setup to cut our washers. We have our uh, carriage set up with a, with a hard stop to control depth over here. We're going to set our depth with our compound, which is going to be 200. Uh, let me move this out of the way. And our diameter, we've got marked on our, with our Sharpie. So when we get to this blue line and the closest zero, that's going to be our diameter of 1.7 so let's get to it and make one So now we've got it roughed out to within 5,000 of our final dimensions. We'll go back in and make one final pass to, uh, to, to, to finish the parrot off. these in two operations. We'll do the inside first, uh, then we'll flip them over and hold them from the inside, then we'll do our thickness and facing and our outside. We'll set up our uh, cross feed in a, in a comparable way to when we did the inside. We'll have a sharpie mark and when we get to the sharpie mark we line up on zero so we can get some repeatability by doing multiple parts. Uh, our thickness we'll just use the uh, clamp on uh, DRO and uh, we'll get them down to the right thickness. 
So on this particular part we're looking for 450 thickness. So we'll do a facing cut first, we'll measure it and then we'll recut to our to our proper thickness. Let's do some more. So our next part we have to make is a couple of spacers. Uh, we got some uh, 5 8 5 8 hot roll cut off, a uh, little over an inch. We need 1060 for our final for our final part. So we need a 3 8 hole through the center. after the other end, get a measurement and then trim it to length. So here's our completed kit. We have 34 pieces in all, and uh, we have to package it up and send it to whoever wants one, I guess. I'll show you what the assembled uh, product looks like. Huh? Well, this is what it looks like assembled. Uh, essentially, the, uh, the big bolt here connects to the engine, and uh, the, the plate connects to the frame, and just gives uh, an isolated mounting for the engine. And it's a little improvement over the stock unit, which tended to break. So most of my customers have been pretty happy with this.